All right. I have no idea how to say this guy's name, so let's figure it out really quick. Cool. Adley Rutschman. Good thing, because I was going to butcher his last name. I was going to butcher it. How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we're going to be doing the career simulation for the newest Baltimore Oriole, Adley Rutschman, the number one overall pick in last night's MLB draft. If you guys want to see more career simulations, let me know in the comment section down below which player you would like to see next. Hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video. And if you're new to the channel and your subscribe button's red, go and click it. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the content. So with that being said, um, Thank you guys for 10k subs. I'll keep it very short. I just want to say thank you. You guys have been supporting the channel. It's been amazing. Let's keep the grind going. Let's keep pumping out videos. Let's let's keep growing the let's keep growing the community that we have here. So let's talk about Adley Rutschman. So switch hitting catcher from Oregon State. First catcher selected number one overall since 2001, and that was Joe Maurer. Um, and most recently in the College World Series in the in a regional game against the University of Cincinnati, bases loaded, he comes up to the plate and they walk him. He got the Barry Bonds treatment. So he got walked with the bases loaded. That's how well he was respected. Um, great hitter, good catcher behind the plate, good fielding wise, calls a good game, good at framing. I looked at some of his ratings, um, some of his grades. It looks like he's the real deal. He looks like he's gonna be a great, great catcher for the Orioles. Um, and I'm kind of excited to see what he can do um, at a major league level. But so I went to the, the player vault. I selected a player um, that looked like Adley Rutschman. He's 69 overall, 21 years old, switch hitting catcher. A potential. In real life, he's getting compared to Joe Maurer, obviously. Getting compared to like Buster Posey and stuff like that. Um, so good comparisons to have. Let's see if he lives up to that hype. So. Season one, we're going to leave him in triple A just because he at the earliest he could join the Orioles at a major league level would be next year. So I don't want to give him an extra season of um, of play, obviously, because that's going to skew the stats a little bit. So we're going to leave him in triple A for this year, see how he does. Um, and then we'll just we'll just get into it because I'm kind of in intrigued to see what his stats were like. I wanted to tweak a couple stats, but every single time I tweaked with them. It ruined his overall. It kind of jumped it up a little bit too high. And I didn't want him to pass that 70 overall mark just yet. Just because, you know, I think that's a little bit too much for a player who just got drafted. So we're going to leave him here. I think his stats look good. I'm kind of interested to see what he does. So let's see how season one plays out um, at a triple A level, I guess I should say. See what he jumps up to overall wise. Um, and then once he gets to the major league level. Um, probably next year. I'll really show you guys where his stats are like and uh, we'll get it started Alrighty, so after a season Adley Rutschman is now a 77 overall like that is insane his stats hitting wise don't look too great Fielding is obviously improving as well, but he's definitely looking really really good. I'm, I'm very 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 interested to see How he does after a couple seasons here because I know season one he should do okay um, but I think he's going to be really good with this Orioles team. So this is the Orioles team. There's the stats for Adley Rutschman. Let's, let's just see how season one in the majors for Rutschman does. Season one, obviously the Orioles aren't going to be a crazy good team after one season. But let's go see. Let's go see how Adley Rutschman did. He's up to an 82 already. What? Potential's gone down. I mean, I don't understand that. But, uh... He's up to an 82. Like he, his stats look pretty solid already. Um, let's take a look at his or his attributes, I should say. But let's take a look at his stats for season one. He did only hit 224. I mean, when you look at like his vision and stuff, I could definitely see why that has um, something to do with his low average. But 21 home runs, 56 RBIs. I mean, I'm not, I'm not too disappointed in those numbers. 110 hits. Not a bad rookie season at all. Not a bad rookie season at all. Let's see if we want anything. Um, Colton Welker. How did they get Colton Welker? Um, I guess they traded. I guess they traded for him. Um, but yeah, he he had a much better season average wise than the than our Adley Rutschman. But still, what twenty one home runs, fifty six RBIs. I will definitely take that for a debut season for Adley Rutschman. It's looking like this catcher is not going anywhere. And uh, I'm kind of excited to see how it goes. So that was season one. Let's get into season 
five unless he wins some awards or gets crazy good or something happens um that's pretty cool to see so season one complete i'll see you guys next time anything happens all right well season two the orioles one made the playoffs and then two adley rutschman is a gold glove winner so um i'm kind of interested just to see his stats um he's up to an 85 and uh like home runs went down a little bit but average went up obp slugging went down a little bit actually and then ops went up a little bit so overall it's looking like he's getting better i like to see that the attributes are going up he won a gold glove in season two and somehow the orioles have like completely changed their team like they've made so many trades i'm I, like i've been getting stopped like every 30 seconds with the orioles trading somebody i don't understand it they made the playoffs though so I, I guess it worked out for them you know what i mean so let's just see how this season goes okay all right wait 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 the orioles the orioles are in the world series after season what this is actually season what season what three technically of this sim but season two for adley the orioles are winning world series so who was the mvp dwight smith jr and colton wecker so colton welker welker not wecker welker world series mvp okay let's see how rutschman did 254 average two home runs 13 rbis he's only gonna get better so i'm kind of i'm like i'm super psyched to see how this catcher does like this is a guy that i'm actually excited to see like just just the thought like you hear like how well he does in real life and then it's like all right i'm excited to see this plus catchers are so hit or miss in sim style franchise um if you can get like a good catcher it's always awesome to see so we got a gold glove in his second mlb season adley rutschman's looking like the real deal let's get into it let's keep going He's also got a World Series title after two seasons. Who would have thought? So let's keep going. Um, I'll see you guys as we, f you know, further progress. Alrighty, so season five, Adley Rutschman has won a gold glove every single season he's been in the league, except for his very first season. So he's a four-time gold glover out of five seasons. That's insane. Um, ever since the World Series, the Orioles haven't made it to the playoffs, which is a little disappointing to see. But let's look at Adley Rutschman, 89 overall, 26 years old, um, obviously in his fifth year. Defense looks amazing. Hitting stats don't look too bad either. The average, about 250, which, I mean, is pretty normal for what catchers usually get in, like, a sim-style franchise. But he's consistently hitting around 20 home runs. He's upping that RBI number. Um, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing from him. It's, it's not amazing stats. But catchers really aren't known to hit for average. You know, they're they're there mostly. You you want a good defensive catcher, and if they're off, and if they're good offensively, then it's like a plus. Um, it, so I mean, so far I'm liking what I'm seeing from like his offensive production. It's not bad at all. Um, so so far so good. It's it's pretty it's pretty nice to see the stats that we've seen so far. So let's keep going, see what happens throughout his career. Alrighty, so the Orioles didn't re-sign Adley Rutschman, and he just signed a six-year, $130.6 million deal at the age of 28. He's 88 overall, um, and his last season stats were 256 average, 11 home runs, 61 RBIs, and 14 steals. Um, last season, he won another gold glove, so five straight gold glove awards for Rutschman, and now he's going to the D.C. area to play for the Nationals. So... I mean, I guess the Orioles didn't want to pay him the big bucks to stay a catcher. So let's see how his career finishes out, probably, at the Nationals. Actually, he, you know, he'll be 34 when it ends, the contract ends. He still could have a few seasons after that where he plays. So we'll have to see what happens. Alrighty, season 10 sees Adley Rutschman out of the starting lineup. So you guys can see here, he played 148 games. So I guess he really didn't get kicked out of the lineup too much more towards the end of the season. Um, he had a little bit of a power surge last year, um, and then every other year it's been pretty consistent about around a 250 average, mid mid teens in the home runs, you know, around 60, 70 RBIs. I mean, the stats aren't too bad at all. I mean, 200 home runs in 10 years, 703 RBIs. Average is a little low, which was a little bit higher, but still, I mean, the stats really aren't too bad for a catcher. Um, but looking at his awards. Year six, 
I think we talked about he won a gold glove. And then 7, 9, and 10, he won a silver slugger award. So um, year 8 is really... Year 1 and year 8 are the only two years he hasn't won some type of a, award. So it'll, it'll be interesting to see if he continues that or if he's going to get kicked out of the, the lineup now that they have this other catcher, Alfonso Manuel. So um, he's got, what, two years left on his deal? So we'll have to we'll have to see how that pans out for him. Still an 87 overall. We'll have to see what happens. But um, it looks like he may be a, he may be a a bench player from now on, which is kind of disappointing to see. So maybe we'll try to get him traded back to the Orioles. Um, see if we can get him starting on our the, the Orioles again because the catcher right now is only 80 overall. So we'll maybe maybe trade for him. We'll have to wait and see if we can make a trade for him. But um, the Nationals are in the playoffs, so we'll just sim see if they win a world series they don't unfortunately so with that being said that is season 10 in the books for adley rutschman let's uh let's, let's just keep going i'm kind of interested to see what happens okay so after season 10 we decided to bring back rutschman just so he could get back into a starting lineup just to kind of see how we would finish out um at least this portion of the contract and then um after that we'll just kind of let whatever happens happens so he's back in baltimore starting catcher Still holding around at 89 because he's in the starting lineup. Stats are slowly decreasing. Um, so we'll see how things pan out now. Alrighty, so season 13, like going into season 13, he signs with the Detroit Tigers. A one-year deal. Um, at this point, we're just going to see. We're, we're probably not going to stop until the end of his career. It's, it's at the point where it's getting pretty close. His overall dipped quite a bit after last season. So let's just keep going. Alrighty, 2038, Adley Rutschman finally retires. It's been, what, two, three, four, five, six seasons since he's last played. It says one game here, but I don't think anything happened. So it's been six seasons I've had to sim through just for him to retire. He last played for the, the Tigers, and I think at the end of this season, he was down to like a 66. But looking at his stats for his career, we're looking at 253 home runs, 860 RBIs, um... 1,687 hits and a 249 average for his career. I mean, it's not it's not horrible stats. Um, they definitely probably could have been a little bit better, but I still think it's a it's a okay representation of a catcher's career. You know, a lot of catchers aren't known for power or crazy run productions. I mean, he has the potential the last couple of years of his career to really show some of that power. You can see there, good amount of RBIs, good amount of home runs, um, some decent averages throughout that time. But at the same time, you know, catchers just really aren't known a lot of the time for their offensive ability, um, especially nowadays. I mean, you ra you rarely hear about it. I mean, Gary Sanchez is a huge example, but, you know, he's not good at fielding or catching. He's more an offensive threat. So um, from what I've seen and what I've read and heard about Adley Rutschman, he's, he's a good hitter, um, still has some development to do, really good behind the dish. So, I mean, we'll have to see how he ends up in real life. But, um, I mean, it's not a terrible career for a catcher. We'll see if he makes the Hall of Fame. He doesn't. But that's that's going to wrap it up for the Adley Rutschman career simulation. If you guys want to see some more of these, let me know in the comment section down below which player you would like to see. Hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. And as always, subscribe if you were new and enjoyed the content. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.